Hi everyone, Miss here, thanks for stopping by. So we have a smiley Amazon package today, just plop through the letterbox. We must have a really big letterbox, it's amazing what the person can get through. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this one and have a look. This isn't a diamond painting, this is something a little bit different. And it is a DIY diamond painting frame. And, oh. Oh, at first I thought that was diamond dots, but it's not, is it? They've like taken a logo similar to diamond dots there and put it in a box similar to a diamond dots. Okay, so this is two-piece fun and easy creation, 30 by 30. Do it yourself, picture frames. Now, they were 9 99 for the two, but I got them on offer, another Amazon coupon, for £7.99. So I thought, okay... I'll give them a go. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got lots of... Uh, oh, we've even got the hangers. Look, that's good. Oh, I like that idea. Okay, we didn't get that with the last ones that I got. All right. Oh, these look quite small, but they're in a nice compact box. So we have our How to Frame Your Diamond Painting. So they are selling them as diamond painting uh, frames. I think they did come in different sizes as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This is going to be fun. There's the two here. Yeah, there's two. They're only very small. Oh, we've got a little silica gel bag there. Just uh, squished in our corners. Well, that makes life a little bit easier because the last ones didn't have those corners. And they did go... Oh. <laughs> Plastics come back with me. Should come back to say hello. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's the other one. So we'll pop that one out of the way. And we'll just have a look at the one for now. Right. Okay. So let's have a look. Do these just use the corners then to go together oh i think i'm maybe not going to be able to put right so we fold the diamond painting canvas along the outside edge of the completed drills on the edge of the canvas ah right so we're gonna have to actually do this when i've completed my canvas right Okay, and then this comes off and we're going to put the canvas on there. And then these are going to be the... They will, which way will they go? Okay, right. Ah, right, so they're going that way. So you end up with your you know that 90 degree angle like that and then they fit in but they're actually putting the diamond painting on this as well oh this is a nice kit actually i'm quite pleased with this um we've got some good things in here and it looks as though we've got some yeah all right so they go i'm not going to put it all together now they go in there like that so you've got your 90 degree angle and they're going to fit on the outside they're like a metal um well like a little goal post for want of a better word and then these will then hold it in place and your diamond painting sticks around the edges there okay all right so they're going to be fun so that's two 30 by 30s now are they actually 30 by 30 or are they 25 by 25 let me have a look because that is going to be the yeah they're 25 right so it's for a 20 a 30 by 30 painting that then has the border so it's taken into account the border okay so let's have a look at this this is my b painting i got from fan cells in a pr package so what you will do is stick that onto your edge there and then fold that in so that your painting 
probably be better off actually to score this um, before you stick it on but then you're still going to have this you're going to have to cover that over with something and um, possibly paint or something like that or washi tape or whatever and that will go there and then you will put the next one will then stick on there and fold that way and you'll have to cut the corners so that will be like that and then you will end up with that on there and that on there and then this will begin to keep the corners square i'm quite impressed with these 7.99 so what's that four pound each for these for a frame and all you will then see once it's done is just literally the canvas and if we look in this little thing here you even get the little hanger i've got two hangers need the two oh yes because then you can put one on one side and one on the mind you with a square it doesn't really matter but if it was um a 30 by 40 say they do do this in a 30 by 40 then you can have it either landscape or portrait so that's why you've got the two so you've got your little hanger to hang it on the wall and then you even get your little strip to hang it from there's no little thing there is there ouch yeah that's already got the tacks in so that just literally tacks into the wall that you just bend up slightly and it will just hang from there and you've got your little screws to screw it onto there so quite a nice little comprehensive kit this actually i'm quite impressed with this um once i've got the 30 by 30 diamond painting done we will have a look at it properly um because so the last kit that i got didn't actually have um was actually for a 30 by 30 painting it wasn't for a 30 by 30 with the extra trim on it so wow i'm going to put that back in there as well yeah quite impressed with this kit and uh, yeah good old amazon comes to the rescue again somebody's come up with an idea calling it a diamond painting frame i mean you could do it for any picture any canvas uh, but yeah that's pretty good it's got the tape on it the strong tape so it will keep it on there hopefully It'd be interesting to see if this tape does dry out and it starts coming off um but yeah okay right let me just show you the other frame um that i got as well which they were i think they were a pretty similar price and if you remember i put my panda in it so these just literally came and you had to just, I mean, this one's still not properly um, lined up there. You had to put them uh, together and they just literally sat as a square and uh, not very square at all. But these are a 30 by 30. So you had to have a canvas that was a full 30 by 30. Whereas these look are 25 by 25, which is what most canvases are, your poured glue ones anyway. Um, but I did have this picture and I did use double sided tape on this one the only sad part was that it has got your panda oops it has got your panda on this edge here so I am going to have to cover that so you can't see it and uh, yeah you can well you can't really see the top lettering it is more or less folded over but <laughs> strangely enough um, I was tidying up the other day and I'd forgotten that these frames actually came with push pins. <laughs> so you were supposed to actually um, wrap this round and use the push pins to hold the canvas in uh, place rather than using sticky tape. But so I have used the double sided sticky tape and it has worked okay. Uh, I didn't get it quite square. I probably will take this off and use the push pins and do it again. But that is the other style of one that I got. And I think these were from, oh gosh, possibly AliExpress. I'll put a link down below for these. But as I say, you had to have a 30 by 30 canvas for these. Because if you tried putting this one in it, it's just going to drop through the middle. <laughs> There's nowhere to sort of stick it to. Or hang it, I suppose, well... You know, if you put it over the top and stuck it from the back, you're still going to have your writing or whatever your edges on. 
um, I suppose you could mount it uh, but then you've got your bare frame you would need to seal it or uh, probably put gesso on and paint over it or something because uh, it is a very bare wood you could stain it I suppose but then you would be left looking at these gaps in uh, the frame as well if you can see that you've got your gaps all around the edges so that's why it needs to go around the outside edge hmm interesting okay right so that's just a quick little video showing you my new frames to go with my 30 by 30 pictures that i've got but uh, yeah i say i'm quite uh, so they'll go like that like that oops it's that way liz that and that and that and that i'm fixing Okay, yeah, and you've got your bits to fix it to, and all your little fastenings. Okay, as I say, just a quick video today. I just thought you might like to see the little package that I got and the extra bits that I got there as well. All right, well, if you've enjoyed looking at this with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any questions or comments on this, or uh, you want to let me know how you frame yours, what frames you use, or a better technique than I've got, <laughs> which isn't hard, then uh, pop them in the comments down below. If you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.